Drew, given the recent market volatility, where's the best place for me to invest my money? Thanks, Evelina. And certainly 2022 has been a very volatile year in mm -hmm. the stock market. So this is top of mind for many investors. I would first say that an investor needs to decide, well, what's my time frame for the money that I'm considering to invest? Uh, once you've determined that you have five years or more, then you can start considering your options. And um, you know the four primary asset classes to invest your money in are cash, which we know right now is you're going to get less than 1% if you look mm -hmm. at any bank or credit union. Uh, so not a great choice. The next option would be bonds. And bonds are not a great choice right now because the Federal Reserve is considering raising interest rates. And when interest rates go up, bond prices go down. So while you're, we don't expect a giant drop in, in bonds this year, you may not get a great rate of return on those. So if you're looking for opportunity, uh, bonds may not be the best place. A uh, third option would be real estate. Uh, certainly you could invest money in um, rental properties, but if anyone's been reading the news or had to buy a house recently, you know it's a very competitive real estate market, certainly yes, here in the is. triangle. So uh, the fourth option then leaves us to stocks. And I do believe that stocks are the best option right now for investors for a long-term investment. And historically, stocks have done well or better than other asset classes during rising interest rates. Now, I don't expect the stock market to perform as well as it has in the past several years. However, I do think that of the four choices I put out there, stocks could be your best bet for the next five to 10 years in terms of uh, your total rate of return. And if volatility is concerning for you, I think this slide does a nice job of showing you that volatility is just part of the stock market. And what we're seeing here is the gray bars show us the rate of return of the S&P 500 in the given year. So for example, in 2020, the stock market or the S&P 500 was up 27%. Now the red dots below show us where the stock market was during that year. Mm -hmm. And you can see in every year, the market is down at some point in time. So volatility is part of being an investor. And part of that volatility, though, gives you opportunities to buy stocks at good prices. And right now, I think there is some opportunity if you are uh, researching uh, your opportunities, looking for the right kinds of stocks. And to that end, I would say look for quality if you're looking for stocks. Also, consider value stocks instead of growth stocks to get a little bit more specific about where to invest your money. Growth stocks have done extremely well for over 10 years, have outpaced value stocks. So that might be a place to be looking for your investment if you have a long-term time frame. And of course, we like to use ETFs and mutual funds here at Coastal Wealth Management to help with that stock selection. And that should help people feel a little bit more comfortable too with market volatility. Excellent. Thank you, Drew, for providing us some of those details. And for those viewers that are not sure what ETFs are, those are exchange traded funds. And we can certainly help you talk through those details if you decide that you would like to meet with our team. Thanks again, Drew. Thank you.